today I felt like taking some pictures and some video of myself because it helps me track the progress that I've made in my um, weight loss journey or like body transformation I'd rather call it but so I'm going to show you some of the before and after pics so far over the last couple years I'm really grateful that I'm on this journey my body has changed in so many positive ways I'm building muscle and I have so much muscle uh, and strength that I never had before and I know it's going to take me a lot of years to get where I want to get but it's going to be worth every minute of the journey hey guys so I'm at the doctor's office right now getting ready to take Marshall in um there's like special instructions and they like you have to go to the back to go in if they have COVID so this is doom my tummy's kind of nervous I don't know why I just feel nervous Marshall just wants to get this done but oh uh, all right I'll let you know what they say <laughs> you feeling a little better? Are you feeling a little better? So they took Marshall off of the antibiotic and they said that it could either have been from him taking an antibiotic with the viral infection or him taking an antibiotic and that he's allergic. And I'm allergic to amoxicillin and that's what he was taking. So it could be either, but hopefully it goes away in a few days. If you guys have any suggestions about what I could help him with to like, I don't know if it's itching or not. I don't know. But if you guys have um, any type of comments or suggestions or advice for me of how I could like soothe that rash to feel better, please let me know. I would love that. Um, yeah, because it's, it's on his face more so today, but he, it does look like it irritates him. And uh, I want to help him feel a little better. So please leave comments and advice for me, okay? I have my camera up for it to, so I can see you. Whoa. So cool. We are. Whoa. So some of you have asked me about my, what I used to do for a living before I started staying home with my children. So I had to go to Mooresville to pick up something at the Lowe's up there. So I figured I would show you one of the properties that I used to live at and manage um, when I was a property manager that floated around and took over different properties. So I hope you enjoy this little look into what I used to do with my life. In corner, that was my um, apartment. And look, oh, they have a little um, thing here. That's cool. Oh, they like painted the doors. I like that. This was the office, so that's where my office was. And then you can go around. I'll loop this way, I guess. So yeah, this is what I did before. Um, and I measure my I, how many? I don't know. I can't remember how many properties with David Dry that I managed. Like four, three or four. Um. Oh my gosh, they got a dog park. That's so cool. It's Oh, it's muddy as shit. But that's really cool that they put a dog park in, though. Huh. Now you have that whole loop down there. And I'm just going to come up here. Because I'm going to turn around. There's no need to go down there. I just wanted to, like, drive through here and see. It looks a little bit run down. This property's old, too. And um, this was a problem property when I took it over. Only because... Um, there's a lot of NASCAR Technical Institute students here. Um, so there just was always problems like, cause they're young kids and they're in college, you know, that's like considered a college and people send their kids to college, you know? Um, but I think the property was like 50% made up of students, if not more than that. Um, so yeah, but that was, that's is it. That's the property that I used to manage. So for those of you, 
I wonder what I used to do before I stayed home with Stevie, before I got into dumpster diving and YouTube and, you know, taking care of, you know, just my stuff at home and everything. This is what I did. Yep. I managed properties. So I hope you enjoyed that. So I want to show you guys how I track on Noom. I track all my food that I eat. It's really helpful because I'm like my patterns and behaviors have changed really without effort just with following the steps I'm weighing here. I'm putting in my weight. I've gained a little bit but that's normal. I don't even pay attention to that. I Because it, it goes up and down and up and down but it continues even if there's a spike up I still continue going down. So I don't worry about that. I can track my water here. And this morning I had um, peppers with cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning. And I had an apple. I, my eating has not been, I haven't had fiber, a lot of fiber and vegetables the last couple days. So I want to start my day off with that. So as you can see here, you track your food and um, it helps you. It tells you like you put in how much you've had. And then it's going to tally up your calories so that you can kind of keep track of the calories. Now, I go over budget often, and that's okay. Um, my What I'm really enjoying paying attention to is balancing my protein, my carbs, my fat, and, like, making sure that I get the proper amount of each of those in. And some days I might have more, like, bread than others. It all balances itself out. I'm just learning to trust myself and following my intuition and letting God kind of lead me through the journey with my food and making sure I bless all of it before I put it into my body instead of like thinking the whole time that I shouldn't be eating it or like cursing it and saying it's bad before I put it in my body. That's probably been what's been harmful to me for quite some time. So I just want to show you how you can track your food. I absolutely love this app. It's just enabled me to look at my food in a whole other way. Here you can see the different sections. I can eat as much green as I want, moderate portions of yellow, and then limit my red. Making sure my macros have been balanced, I think has been essential to my progress on my journey. Look at those feet. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I know, buddy. There's my clothes. <laughs> They're folded. And Marshall threw up all over the couch cover. So I had a kid take the couch cover off because that's what it looks like. But I had to wash it because he like projectile vomited all over. Softly I announce my presence. Shimmering hues of radiance tap gently at your consciousness, seeking entrance. Though I have all power in heaven and on earth, I am infinitely tender with you. The weaker you are, the more gently I approach you. Let your weakness be a door to my presence. Whatever you feel, whenever you feel inadequate, remember that I am your ever-present help. Hope in me and you will be protected from depression and self-pity. Hope is like a golden cord connecting you to heaven. The more you cling to this cord, the more I bear weight of your burdens. Thus, you are lightened. Heaviness is not of my kingdom. Cling to hope and my rays of light will, le will reach you through the darkness. I am with you and for you. When you decide on a course of action that is in line with my will, nothing in heaven or on earth can stop you. You may encounter many obstacles as you move toward your goal, but don't be discouraged. Never give up. With my help, you can overcome any obstacle. Do not expect an easy path as you journey hand in hand with me but do remember that i am your very present helper and i'm omnipotent omnipotent i think that is much much stress results from you your wanting to make things happen before the time before their times have come one of the main ways i assert my sovereignty in the timing of events. If you want to stay close to me and do things my way, ask me to show you the path forward moment by moment. Instead of dashing headlong toward your goal, let me set the pace 
slow down, and enjoy the journey in my presence. Lord, I so want to see your power displayed in my life. Your word says that nothing is too big for you to handle that, and that nothing is impossible for you. But Lord, I struggle with believing that your promises are for me personally. I want to be a woman of faith, a woman who trusts you in every situation. Please make the truth and power of your word more real to me. Lord, please give me the ability to do the good works you have planned for me. Help me not to miss one opportunity to serve you and your people. Help me not to miss one miracle that you do in my life and the lives of those around me. And Lord, let my life reflect the world to the world that you are the King of Kings and the God of miracles. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have an amazing day and night. And remember, Jesus loves you. And I love you too. Bye.